Hello, and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Miss Matthews, and today we are going to be looking at fractions. Our learning goal for today is learning to name fractions and see equivalent or equal fractions. Here are some optional materials you may want to have today to record your thinking, but you do not need them to complete today's lesson. Look at this picture. What do you see? You may have said that you see avocados and that some have pits and some do not. Now I want you to think about how many do you see? You may have said 15. How do you see 15? You might have noticed that the avocados are arranged in three rows of five. So that gives us 15. But I'm wondering, what do we have 15 of? Yes, we have 15 avocado halves. So we have 15 halves. How else did you think about how many you saw? You might have said eight. If someone said that there are eight, what are there eight of? Yes, there are eight avocado pits in the picture. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we know there are eight halves with avocado pits, then we can count how many do not have pits. Let's do that. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we can see that there are seven avocado halves without pits. What's another way we can answer how many? So far, we've been thinking about the avocado halves. What if we thought about how many whole avocados we see? How many whole avocados are there? One way you may have thought about figuring this out is by matching halves together. Let's look at what this could look like. I'm thinking about grouping one half with a pit to one half without a pit. So we could group these two halves together and that gives us one whole avocado. Then I can group these two halves together and that gives us two whole avocados. If we continue like that, we can see three, four, five, six whole avocados so far. We have six whole avocados so far. I'm going to group two more halves like this to make seven holes, and I have one half left over. So how many whole avocados do we see? Yes, that's it. There are seven and a half avocados. Let's do another routine. Look at these images and think about which one shows one fourth. Let's look at each image one by one. How about this first one? What do you notice about this figure? Does it show one fourth? Let's 
let's think about what we notice. I see that this is a square and it is split into four equal parts. So each part is one fourth. At first glance, you may have said, no, it does not show one fourth because three fourths is shaded. However, if three fourths is shaded, what fraction is not shaded? That's right, one fourth is not shaded. So this does show one fourth not shaded. Let's look at this next one. What do you notice about this figure? We see a triangle and that triangle is made up of four small triangles of the same size. So each little triangle is one fourth of the larger triangle. That means that three fourths of the triangle is shaded and one fourth is not shaded. So yes, again, this does show one fourth. Let's move on to our last shape. What do you notice about this figure? Here we see another square. This square has four rows. It also has four columns. So how many little squares does it have altogether? That's right. There are 16 small squares that make up our one big whole square. So what fraction of the whole is each small square? Well, since we know that there are 16 small squares that are equal in size, each small square is 1 16th of the whole. Now that we know that each small square is 1 16th of the whole, we can see that four of the 1 16th squares are shaded. So four sixteenths are shaded. Now we need to think about if we see one fourth in this figure. Let's compare it to the others that we've seen so far. Earlier, we confirmed that the two figures on the left were both split into fourths and showed one fourth not shaded. Let's take a closer look at these two. What are you noticing? Something you might be noticing is that you can see the same lines going down the middle like this. And the same lines going across like this. And I can see that this square is the same size as this square. What do you notice about these two squares? You might be seeing how four of the small squares or four one sixteenth pieces are the same as one fourth. If we moved the four shaded sixteenths into the one fourth square, we can see that four sixteenths is equal to one fourth. Four sixteenths and one fourth are equivalent fractions. Say that word with me now, equivalent fractions. So now we can see how all three of these figures 
show one fourth. Let's reflect. What's something that you are learning about fractions? Take some time to write it down or tell someone. Today we found fractions in images and named them. We also started learning about equivalent fractions. Which emoji best represents where you are in your learning today? Thanks for watching today's episode. I'm Miss Matthews. I hope you have a mathematical day and keep on counting. See you next time. Today's fraction number sense routine is a unit that comes from Dan Finkel and Katherine Cook's website, mathforlove.com. The which figure shows one fourth task was adapted from John San Giovanni's book, Mind the Gap for Mathematical Understanding, and can be found on this website.